Okay, continuing on with our App Service Security demo, let's start looking at how Azure App Service Security works. So first we're gonna explore the HTTP headers that drive Azure App Service Security. And then we're gonna look at the Auth Me service that gives us information about who's logged in. Okay, so here we are in the Azure portal and I've got another app service that I've created it has an application running in it that's a little bit that's got a little bit more stuff. And if I go down to authentication and authorization, I've already got this set up with app service authentication using Azure Active Directory. So if I go back to overview, here's the URL. I've already got it open in another tab. Okay, so I've already logged into this application and I've got a utility page that I call security summary that gives me information about the current request. So right now at the top, we've got claim summary and that's empty, more on that later. And then we have header summary. So let's think about this for a second. We are able to enable security for our application and make it work without having to do any changes to our code. So how does Azure App Service Security do that? Is it modifying our code on our behalf? No, it doesn't do any changes to our code. It's got some stuff that it injects into the execution pipeline that makes those checks to see if you're logged in or not and sends you to the appropriate places to do the login if you need to log in. And a lot of this is happening through HTTP headers. So if we scroll down, we've got these headers here, XMS client headers. These are injected for us automatically. And this is the information about our login. So for example, XMS client principal name, bende at bende.com, that's my user account. XMS client principal IDP, identity provider. Well, the identity provider is AAD or Azure Active Directory. We've got some information about my token for authentication to the app and for authentication to Azure Active Directory. And we've got down at the bottom here, I've got the list of cookies and we've got a cookie that's being written for Azure App Service auth session. Let me show you what that looks like in code. All right, so here's the solution. If we go into controllers, I've got my security summary controller and this is what's driving that security summary page. And to get access to the headers and the cookies, it's really just a matter of looking at the request in ASP.NET Core and accessing headers or cookies. And if we go to views, the view is just doing a for each over that headers collection and cookie collection and putting stuff up on the screen. So it's pretty simple stuff. Behind the scenes, there is a hidden endpoint called dot auth me. So if I click on this, it calls that endpoint. So this is a service that Azure gives us that allows us to access information about the current logged in user. We've got our token, expiration times, a whole bunch of different things. What's the provider? And then we have this stuff, user claims. So claims are how permissions are communicated around for a lot of different authentication and authorization implementations. And as you can see, there's kind of a lot of stuff in here like my first name, last name, my IP address, my username, and a bunch of different information about my Azure Active Directory account. We'll do some more with this .auth me service later on. But let's go back to the home page for our application. And if we're on the home page and we're accessing it, we see it, we know that we're logged in. But right here, it's saying not logged in. This would be one of these places where we might wanna start adding some custom code into our application. But before we do that, we should talk a little bit about how ASP.NET Core security actually works. So next up, an overview of ASP.NET Core security. 